Hello, my pals. This is Holly. Welcome back to Ghostopia, the spookiest town in all of Roblox. So if you're wondering what I've been up to lately, the answer is making friends with the undead and picking flowers, which is, you know, one of my favorite things to do in the lead up to Halloween. And now that I've got everything that I need to conjure up a fire brew, it's time to get spell casting. All right, where's my fire brew? Okay, spicy can be conjured all bought from the shops. Yeah. Let's trace this rune and conjure up a fire brew. I can't actually remember why I was trying to conjure a fire brew, but I'm determined to do a very good job. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, masterful, they say. Thank you so much. Yes, I have conjured a masterful fire brew. And now I gotta head back to the old haunted homestead. If you missed my first Ghostopia episode, you might not have seen my haunted mansion yet, but let me assure you, it is so chic. I can't wait to show you. Um, the whole town is actually pretty beautiful. Really happy to be able to live here. Wait a second, maybe we're not going to my house. Oh no, we're speaking to Flick. All right, Flick, I've got a fire brew with your name on it. Uh, this is Flick, the ancient spirit of fire and actually a very close and personal friend of mine. Cool, so what happens when I give Flick the brew. Oh my gosh, Flick is giving me a window recipe scroll. Oh, and a hot tip. Go talk to Z the zombie if you need more info on Blair. So life in Ghostopia is all about conjuring as many ghosts as possible to haunt your personal haunted mansion. And I am determined to have the most haunted mansion of them all, um, which means that I'm gonna need to conjure lots of ghosts. And the next ghost that I'm trying to conjure is a Victorian socialite, which is terribly exciting. Oh, what's happening here? Oh my gosh, there's a popcorn stand and it's being run by a ghost. Oh, do you sell popcorn or? Um, hmm, that's okay. I, I actually was supposed to go in here and have a little chat with someone, so let's head inside. I haven't gotten inside any other buildings here. Oh my gosh, look at this! This is so cool! What is this place? <gasps> cool bathtub. Ooh, is that like a haunted refrigerator? <laughs> Hello, are you the proprietor of this fine establishment? Z so says, hey, looks like you're new in town. Need something? Yeah, I heard you might know something about Blair. So he's like, ah, oh, Blair. She goes to so many parties, it's hard to track her down. But hey, I might have something that can help. First, would you mind doing me a solid in conjuring up an extra armchair? My supplier fell through. Oh my gosh, I have actually conjured armchairs before. That was the first conjuring I think I did. Um, so, you know, I'm a little bit experienced in this kind of thing, but I might not have the right materials. Hmm, okay, this might be a little bit difficult. There it is, there's my chair, the abominable armchair. Oh, but I don't have any of the ingredients I need. All right, you know what? You stay right here, I'll be back. Unless you don't happen to have any spectral essence, do you? Let's ha have a look up here on the shelf and, uh, oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to purchase the spectral essence. I see how it is, but you know what? Uh, I guess that's probably the quickest way to get this done. Still don't have everything we need though, so might have to go to the forest. Close up my book. All right, go see. Let's get out of here. Evening, Flick. No, sorry, nothing for you. I'm heading to the forest. Whoops, some flowers. Those are a bit cute. Might take those, pop them in my pocket, and oh, nice tree you've got here. Shame if someone were to chop it down and turn it into an armchair. Bit rude of me, though, to be chopping down trees in the park. So, okay, we're heading into the forest, and oh, this looks like a, this looks like a pretty nice tree. Might take that for myself. I like how when I chop it down, it just like turns into like neat little logs. All right, let's see if I've got everything. Oh, no, I need a different kind of wood. It's like, I don't think I know what kind of wood it is until I've already chopped it down. <laughs> look at me chopping. <laughs> All right, okay, are we good now? Let's have a look. No, oh, that's the right tree. I just need more of it. I've got my cursed film, but I need my black willow. Oh my gosh, I see a fairy circle. <laughs> cool. Let's gather these mushrooms. Wow. I love them. All right, I kind of got a little bit distracted there, but I need to focus on getting my willow. Surely, surely. I've oh my gosh, we've finally done it. I'm conjuring a chair. Yeah, I'm just going to trace this rune real masterfully. Oh, not quite. Uh, oh no, it is masterful. I can't believe I doubted myself for a second. And I've got an abominable armchair to bring to... What was her name again? Oh, Z. Okay, I'm selling an abominable armchair to Z. All right, Z, I hope you are ready for the most stunning abominable armchair you have ever seen. All right, let's see if they like my work. All right, Z, 
check this out. They're like, hey there, human, how can I help you? Um, shall we have a small chat? Um, oh, uh, I've got something to sell, if you're interested. It's a chair, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it just says normal. <gasps> The cheek, so rude. It's a beautiful armchair. Stunning, exceptional. Um, okay, let's just have a little chat about the armchair. Uh, hi, can I help you? Uh, so how's that armchair treating ya? So he's like, yeah, right on. You can call yourself a fright key supplier now. The recipe I gave you should help you summon Blair, but if you want to know about her, you should, you know, really speak to Lenora the vampire. I mean, I guess I do want to know more about her. And I guess I do do want to talk to Lenora the Vampire, so um, yeah, that sounds great actually. First though, let's check out my new recipe for a rose-tinted window. Oh my gosh, it makes you so nostalgic for the past! I'm gonna need a fire brew, which is pretty spicy. Wow, where am I supposed to get some dragon's blood? Oh my gosh, and dream quartz! Sounds so dreamy! Alright, let's get it! Well, I've got an appointment to keep with Lenora the Vampire, so we're gonna head over there. But my little ghosty friend wanted me to uh, remind you that if you are going to play Ghostopia, maybe you're hopping into Roblox, you want to buy some Robux, I've got a star code. It's Cunicorn. You can use it if you want to support my channel while you're buying some Robux. And oh my gosh, I've found some vampires. Now, Lenora, I heard you're the person to ask about Blair. Lenora's like, hey there, I'm Lenora. Nice to eat, I mean, meet you. So you're a vampire? Yeah, and it totally sucks. Just kidding, it's, uh, fantastic. Okay, I'll shut up now. Uh, what's new with you? So I heard your friend's with Blair. Uh, duh, she comes to all my shows. Did you know she's from the 1800s? One time she made me figure out how to get her a gramophone into Ghostopia, of all things. I tried to tell her we could just stream music now, but she likes that retro glam. Oh my gosh, a gramophone. That is definitely what I need. Lenora's like, oh, sure, yeah, I can teach you how to make one. But will you do something for me, too? I need a second opinion on the Conjuring Circle in the Mystic Forest as a potential concert venue. Can you check it out for me? Oh my gosh, this is the best day ever! I am about to conjure a Victorian socialite ghost to come live in my house, which is incredible. And now I'm scouting concert venue locations for a famous vampire. <gasps> this is all of my dreams coming true. Okay, so honest opinions only. Does this look like a good place for a vampire concert? Oh, ooh, I love it. Okay, gorgeous outdoor venue. I mean, it does look like a decent place for a concert, maybe. If only it weren't in the middle of the forest. I should head back to Lenora. Oh my gosh, I completely disagree with myself, actually. I think this is an amazing concert venue. I would love to attend a vampire concert here. Like, get me to the forest. Ooh, flowers, better gather those up. Lenora, I'm coming! Ooh, more flowers, better gather those up. Lenora, I'm coming! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be soaking wet by the time I meet the vampires. How embarrassing. All right, I got good news and I got good news. The good news is it looks great. And the good news is I love the forest. Um, okay, so I scoped out the conjuring circle. Um, I think it's awesome. I think you should definitely do a show there. Wow, okay, so um, now are you gonna help me out with the gramophone? <gasps> She's giving me the recipe scroll. Thank you so much. Wow, okay, it is a lot of work to conjure a Victorian socialite ghost. It's like, people think it's easy, but it actually, um, you know, it's pretty time consuming, requires a lot of materials. It's not as easy to conjure a ghost as you might think. Um, okay, so we've got some objectives up the top there. I've got to place my rose-tinted window in my mansion. Got to place my vicious vanity, my Edison's phonograph. I think that's like a gramophone. Maybe it's just another word. Oh my gosh, welcome to my house, everyone. I forgot that you, if you didn't see the first episode, you um, might not have seen my mansion yet. So welcome. Oh, I've got a, I've got a creepy butler. Oh, and oh, and here's my armchair next to, next to the fire. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's have a look in here. I got rose tinted window. Ah. Oh. Ooh, I totally forgot. Okay, I can conjure my fire brew, um, but I forgot that I needed dream quartz. Still not totally sure where I'm supposed to get that. Um, like I said, it's not actually that easy to conjure a ghost. People think it's easy. It's not easy. Mine to find. Okay, I gotta mine my own dream quartz. Wow. All right, my ghostly pals, we are heading to the quartz mines. Don't mind the skeleton butler. 
Alrighty, so where am I going? Uh, oh, okay, so that looks like the mines just past the Mystic Forest. Um, bit of a hike out of town, but um, cool. I think we do it. Void's End, apparently it's called. I hope that is actually the mines. Let's go check it out. Although, hmm, I am right next to the shops. It would be a little bit silly of me to not just check and see if maybe they've got some dream quartz in stock. Save me a trip to the mines. Uh, let's have a little look. I just love the shop as well. I just kind of wanted an excuse to come back in here because it is so cool. And, oh, this looks like it could be right. What do you got on this shelf? Dust of binding. That's pretty cool. And, oh my gosh, we've got a dream quartz. Exceptional quality. I'll take two. Yeah, Z, coming through with the goods. I just try to conjure this rose tinted window before I leave the shop, just in case there's anything else I need. I'm just tracing our little rune here. Don't mind me, I'm just doing a little bit of magic, and I think I'm gonna get a window. Masterful! Masterful, they say. Oh, I've conjured a masterful window. <gasps> Incredible stuff! What else do I need? Oh, dang, I forgot that I still need a vicious vanity and Edison's phonograph. That's the thing that you gotta remember about Blair, the Victorian socialite ghost, is, you know, she's pretty picky. You gotta conjure her heaps of her favorite stuff before she'll come haunt your house. And that's just, you know, that's just part of the deal, I guess. Oh, here's my new items. Uh, nose, vanity is a sin, doesn't care. That looks, ooh, moonstone. That's something new and special. And then, ooh, and more moonstone. Cool, okay, I, I think I can, I think I can do this. Wouldn't happen to have any moonstone for sale, would ya? Is that moonstone? Oh, no, onyx, midnight oak, oh. Maybe they don't have any moonstone in stock, but I'll take some of your cursed elm, thank you very much. Um, hmm, strange, all right. Need some dust of binding though, thank you very much. What about on this shelf? These just look like brews. Oh, I do need some spectral essence though. Thank you for that, I'll take that. Before we head to the mines though, I might just check upstairs to see if um, maybe we've got the moonstones stacked somewhere a little bit different. Wow, this is so cool! <gasps> I love this store. I wish it was a real place where I could visit and get a haunted piano and um, all sorts of stuff. Although I don't see any moonstone. <laughs> what about up here? <laughs> oh, cozy. Hmm. Okay. I mean, there's heaps of stuff, but no moonstone that I can find. Honestly though, so excited to install my rose tinted window. I might just postpone my trip to the mines for just a moment. Hello, butler bones. All right, let's see where, ooh, that wall looks perfect. Let's put in my window. Oh my gosh, <gasps> gorgeous. I am obsessed. Oops, took it off the wall there. <laughs> okay, I just gotta find the perfect place, but it really adds some incredible ambiance to the mansion. Incredible. I am thinking though, maybe I should do a little bit of decorating other spaces. Um, ooh, I get to create a new room with a room icon. Um, cool, all right, yeah, let's build this bedroom. Maybe this bedroom needs a Beautiful mirror. Oh my gosh, it definitely does. <gasps> this could totally be Blair the socialite ghost's room. I'll put her like photograph in here and I can put her vicious vanity next to the mirror. It is so glamorous. I love this. Okay, mirror looks great. Awesome. I'm still missing moonstone though. So I'm gonna try to find a mind. And oh my, oh, whoa, <gasps> a crystal vein. I am mining! Okay, we are in business. I didn't know that they would just be out here in the middle of nowhere. Wait, what did I even get? Are there more crystals around here? Wow, this place is amazing. What is that spinning vortex? Hmm. <laughs> oh, more crystals! <gasps> Mine them all. <laughs> okay, cool. We're collecting crystals. I mean, I guess even if I don't find a moonstone right away, um, these crystals will probably come in handy at some point. So might as well do a bit of mining. All right, what have we got? Let's 
see if I've got everything I need. Oh, I've got two out of three. Yes. Okay, we just got to mine a few more crystals and we are totally in business. And then, okay, so I, I've already got my rose tinted window. I'll get my vicious vanity. I'll get my Edison's phonograph. And then, oh my gosh, we are conjuring a new guest for the haunted mansion. This is so exhilarating. It's like some people move into a haunted mansion that already comes with ghosts and it's like that's cool and all but like they will never know the satisfaction of conjuring your own ghosts, you know, with moonstones that you mind yourself. There's something special about that. Wow. Yes, okay, I've got 6 moonstones now, which means I can conjure everything. Everything my heart desires. Masterful, they say. Cool. Okay, I've got my vicious vanity. Awesome. Okay. Put that in the house. Oh, no, no, no. I can also conjure my phonograph. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I had everything. Okay. Need more spectral essence. Hmm. Oh. Here we go. Trace this real quick. And then I should have everything I need. Awesome. I love, every time it says masterful, I just get this like surge of pride. Okay, yeah, let's conjure our phonograph. And then we can turn on the tunes. Blair will just not be able to resist the haunted mansion. All right, we are home. Let's decorate Blair's bedroom. Let's summon a ghost. All right, Mr. Bones, doing good. Okay, fire looks gorge. But where should I put my gramophone? I could put it in the living room for everyone to enjoy. Guess you'd love that. Oh, and the mirror kind of feels like it should go in Blair's room. Let's pop it in here, maybe somewhere on the wall. Gorge. Oh, <gasps> quest attracting the socialite is complete. All that I have to do is summon Blair, but it would probably be good if my, um, if the vanity wasn't <laughs> floating. There we go. That's better. Oh, that's so cool. Love it. Pop it against the wall. Oh, no, don't disappear. <laughs> okay, fab. I think we're good. This looks great. I would totally have this bedroom, but I kind of feel like Blair is probably gonna want this. Oh, there she is. Blair, the Victorian socialite. It's finally time to summon her. <gasps> oh my gosh, hi. I've been waiting to be for so long. Blair's like, what? Oh, who are you? Where am I? I haven't heard the sound of the gramophone in ages. Well, it's your lucky day, Blair, because I made that gramophone just for you. She's like, oh, of course, it's about time. I've been yearning for a new mansion to haunt. The ethereal plane can be pretty dull, you know. There's nothing better than attending balls and gossiping about them afterwards, just like the good old days. Now tell me, where can I meet all the other lively spirits you've summoned? We got Bob, you want to chat to Bob? Oh, Bob, that silly specter. I don't think I can float through yet another conversation about his paranormal findings. I'll die again. A boredom. Cover your ears, Bob. I think you're fascinating. Blair's like, we should party like it's 1899. All right then, Blair. Let's party. 